Hey everybody, uh, this is Brian Rauscher, your Region 1 Child Passenger Safety Liaison, and just making this quick little video to go over some things about recertification and keeping your CPST cert up to date. Uh, I have a lot of techs in my region that are coming up for recertification the first part of 2023. I have, I think, 18 or 19 of you that are up for recert in March and April of this year. So <clears throat> I'm just making this preemptively to uh, help guide you through what you need to do to get all your information entered into the recertification re website. Okay, let's take a look at the certification website. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to cert, C-E-R-T dot safekids.org. And that's going to take me to the to my uh, the Safe Kids Top Passenger Safety Research or Certification website. Okay, this is where you keep track of all of your uh, uh, activities that you've done, your C checks, your CEUs, and your uh, your uh, community event. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log in this little green bar at the top right, and then I'm going to click log in for CPS CPS Tech to be, and then it's going to take me to a spot where I enter my username and my password. So this is my username. Uh, your So your username, if you don't have it, need help finding it, let us know. Uh, if you were in one of my classes, I probably can help you find it if you've never logged in before. But you can also go through the forgot password uh, right there. Uh, the email that you use to register for class, that's the email that will be linked. And then you can reset your password from there. If you need help, please let me know. So I'm going to log in, and it's going to take me to my certification website. Now, I can scroll down, and I can see all my information, and then I'm going to scroll down here. Uh, and as we can see right here, this covers my recertification, okay? So uh, you can see I'm 74% completed for my research. But uh, let's look at the three different things that we need to do to uh, research. So in order to be able to research, you need to have six CEUs, okay? Uh, those are like con continuing education units, okay? So we add CEUs. We can go right here by clicking on Add Review CEUs. That's going to pull up my CEU uh, box. And I, I'm actually going to enter a CEU right now so you can follow along. And so I'm going to scroll down, and it's going to tell me that right here, Six CEUs required. I have one entered so far. So I'm going to hit enter hours and select my activity type. My activity type is an in-person session or workshop. This is something that I did uh, this past spring in Sun Valley. So if you made the Sun Valley Tech Update, uh, this, this, is, this is exactly how you'll enter the CEUs that you earned at that conference, okay? I'm going to select this. It's going to give me a start date and an end date. So the date was May 4th, 2022. For this particular class, May 4th, 2022 is my start date. <clears throat> May 4th, 2022 is my end date. The event ID, uh, if pre-approved. So all of these are pre-approved, uh, the ones that you got at Sun Valley anyway. And my event ID is 7294. <laughs> And then <clears throat> location, of course, and instructor name. So I'm just going to tell them what it was. It was Idaho Tech Update, Sun Valley, Idaho, 2023. The course is actually called the Man U. Manufacturers panel. And then the instructor name is various because we had various presenters. Okay. That is good for one hour. And I'm going to save it. And then you'll see when I go back and look at my CEUs that I actually have uh, two CEUs now. So been at, uh, re re record has been added. So I'm going to return to my summary. When we get back there, you'll see 
I have two CEUs, okay? I have other CEUs to add. So, but that's how we add our CEUs, okay? So that's how we enter those six CEUs that we need. Okay, the other thing you need is you need five seat checks signed off on by an instructor or a tech proxy. The only instructors or tech proxies in North Idaho, north of Riggins, is myself and <clears throat> uh, Katie Brown, uh, and she is out of Rathdrum. So uh, either one of us are going to need to be the people that sign off on your seat checks. So if you have, if you've worked with me in the past, I have a record of it, and I will have, I'll, I should have a list of the seat checks that we've done. But uh, what we can also do is if you're coming up for recertification and we haven't been able to work together in a class or in an actual event, we can do what's called a, uh, a mock seat check and I can bring seats. I can meet you where you are. We can run through them, make sure you're good with your tech, with your <clears throat> uh, hands-on skills so far. And we can do it that way. Okay. But uh, to add seat checks, right? I'm in that same screen. I'm just going to hit add seat checks and I'm actually going to do one. Because even though I'm an instructor, I still need to add seat checks as well. So I'm going to back out and I'm actually going to see what I need because I worked with, so I have a rear facing and rear facing convertible. Okay. So I'm going to add another seat check. So as you can see, the five seat checks you need, we have a rear facing infant. Okay, a rear-facing convertible, a forward-facing with harness, a belt positioning booster, and an installation using latch. Okay, those are all individual seat checks. So I have these first two signed off on by an instructor. So I'm going to get this one signed off on too right now. So November, actually, uh, it was Child Passenger Safety Week, October 24th was when I performed this forward-facing seat check in the uh, in the company of an instructor. And my instructor is Katie Brown. So I'm going to look her up. Uh, Catherine Brown, there she is. And that's going to put her Safe Kids ID right down here. Uh, if you were looking at me, you would type in Rousher. You would click that, and it's going to populate my thing down there. But I can't. Uh, I can't do my own seat check. So I need Katie to do my seat check. So I'm going to find Katie. I'm going to pick her. And then when I submit this, it's going to send Katie an email and say, hey, Brian has entered a seat check. Uh, do you remember it? And will you approve it? Okay. So once Katie approves that, uh, that seat check is that seat check will, will, will be considered good. Okay. So that's how we'll do that. <clears throat> the last thing we have to do, we're back to this main screen is one community education event. So to do that, you click on this add community education event, and that can be anything. That can be anything from presenting at your work or your child's school. Uh, it needs to be at least an hour, or or that can be uh, working a checkup event, okay? If you've worked a checkup event with us, uh, that absolutely counts. The one that I have entered is an event we did up in Sandpoint uh, this spring, and we called it Sandpoint Safety Day. So I've already entered it, Standpoint Safety Day, we checked 24 car seats, distributed 21 new seats, and took 11 seats. It won't let me enter it because I've already entered it. So that's how it will look when you are when you're ready to recertify. Okay, so you need your community education event, you need your five seat checks and your six CEUs. Okay, when you get all of that, when you get all of that entered, and Keep in mind, your seat checks need to be approved by an instructor. But when you get all that entered, you can come back here to your main box and it says, you know, certification. Your 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 completion will be at 100 percent and there will be a link to recertify. You recertify. Uh, there's a $55 recertification fee. You pay that and you are good to go for another two years. OK, so that's how you enter and collect all your information uh, to recertify. So if you have any questions about any of this, please let me know. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to keep uh, our amazing Region 1 techs engaged, supported, and certified, okay? So please reach out to me. My email is brian at nwsids.org, or my phone number is 208-582-6702, and we'll do what we can to help you stay certified. Okay, that's how we enter our certification information. Everybody have a great day.